Hello friends, I'm Dr. Praveen Tripathi. I'm a senior psychiatrist, de-addiction and sexual disorder specialist. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about panic attack and panic disorder. So what is a panic attack? Panic attack is an acute attack of extreme anxiety. The patient feels very anxious. So what are the symptoms of the panic attack? So when the patient feels extreme anxiety, there are many physical symptoms that also show up like palpitations, the heart starts to pound, there is heaviness in the chest, sometimes pain in the chest, there is difficulty breathing, patients may have tremors, patients may have sweating, sometimes patients may feel dizzy. And along with these physical symptoms, during a panic attack, patient also feels that he is about to lose control, he is about to either go crazy or he is about to have a heart attack. So these physical symptoms put with these feelings is called as a panic attack. Now when a person gets a panic attack, usually either he himself rushes to the hospital or one of the family members take him to the hospital. In the emergency department, the investigations of the heart are done, ECG is done, blood tests are done and everything comes out to be normal. The doctor on duty usually tells the patient that look, you are having an anxiety attack and he usually prescribes a medicine, anxiety medicine, which is usually Alprex. The patient comes back home, but in his mind, he still has a fear that maybe I have some heart issue, heart issue which got missed. Often, they go to a cardiologist and a detailed cardiac evaluation is done. There is halter monitoring which is done, echocardiography is done, sometimes tests like even CT scan and MRI are done but everything comes out to be normal. The doctor tells the patient that look, you have an anxiety disorder. It's got nothing to do with the heart. Though the patient gets reassured, but at some level the fear that something is getting missed is still there. Now, what is a panic disorder? How does the patient go from having a single panic attack to having a full-fledged panic disorder? Now this patient whose heart investigation came out to be normal and who still has an iota of doubt in his mind becomes excessively cautious. He starts scanning his body for the presence of any symptom. And because he is so afraid, he starts developing some symptoms like at times the heartbeat might go up, at times he might feel some pain in chest. Now the moment this heartbeat goes up or he feels some pain in chest, he immediately starts giving it more importance. He becomes scared, he becomes afraid that possibly something is happening. When he becomes scared, the symptoms further increase. The heart rate may further go up. There may be the pain in the chest may further increase. Now when the symptom increases, the fear further increases. And it's a vicious cycle that gets set up, which finally leads to another panic attack. Now once a patient have had one or two panic attacks, he starts avoiding a lot of things. He might stop exercising, he might stop running, at times he may stop climbing stairs, some patients even stop driving, some patients even stop going out alone because they are afraid that they may, they may have another attack or if something happens to them, who would help them? This, this thought starts haunting them. And this leads to the development of panic disorder. Now, let us understand what starts these panic attacks, what triggers these panic attacks. Now we find that in different people, different things may act as a trigger. In some people, the news of a family member developing a serious medical condition like heart attack acts as a trigger. Say somebody gets to know that somebody in the extended family had a heart attack at a young age. That immediately scares this patient and they may start having panic attacks. In other group of patients, their own medical illness may start the panic attacks. They may have something benign, something trivial, but they may become too scared and they may start having panic attacks. And in a significant number of patients, we see that there is no history, there are no triggers. They may have a panic attack out of blue. These are the patients who say that, doctor, I don't have any anxiety in my life. My life is going smoothly. Why the hell do why the hell am I getting panic attacks? Please remember that the fact that your life is going smoothly and the fact that there are no stressors in your life does not make you immune of anxiety attacks. Anxiety attacks can happen to anybody. 
in the last 5 10 years what we have seen is the online research about these symptoms play a significant role in development of panic disorder once the patient develops some symptom they immediately go online and they start googling about it and more often than not they and the research with the conclusion that they might be having some serious medical illness like heart issue or maybe a cancer